There is nothing quite so satisfying as seeing something you've worked hard on finally bear fruit. But as Mr. Clean would discover, there is nothing quite so frustrating as seeing that fruit stolen before you have a chance to enjoy it. Thanks everyone for coming. You're probably wondering what this is all about. Is it so you can tell us a really boring story about some exotic plant you've grown? Spot on, Miley except for the boring part. It all started three years ago, while I was on one of my expeditions. I knew it. Laters. Right, well, long story short, after years of hard work and dedication, I've managed to grow the highly endangered and incredibly rare... Gooberry tree. <gasps> Meow! I've never tasted a gooberry before, but I've heard they're really something. Shall we try one together? It's strictly invite only with this one. Meow! My berries! Oi, shoot! Get out of it! Oi. <gasps> Steal my berries, will ya? I'd like to see that bird try to get through this. Kitty, wait! The only way to fight a bird is with an even bigger bird. Hunter here has been trained to hunt all manner of small creatures. I've trained him to attack when he hears this bird call. Sorry, Kitty, this is just my 100% all-natural, non-toxic, organic stink spray. It's an old family recipe. Good for all special occasions. did it with me old socks. are only scared of two things, cats and scarecrows. And I'm going to hit them with both barrels. Now watch that bird flee in terror. Hey, leave that alone. Go on, get. You're supposed to be scared of me. Ah, ah, evasive action. Kitty, abort, abort. <laughs> Well, that didn't work, but at least there are no more birds around here to attack me. Nuts. When that bird swoops down to land on the bush, bang! Instead of berries, a beak full of cold steel. Ha! Quick, hide.
<laughs> now, when he flies down to this fake tree by mistake, smack, nothing but brick. Oh! Hey, that's not how it's supposed to work. Get off that bush. Get away. Shoot. Why did I... Ow. This time we take the battle to the skies. An oldie, but a goodie. We'll be seeing of that kleptomaniac. <laughs> it's okay, Kitty. No need to get crazy. I just need to cut down the tree. Not crazy at all. I'm not crazy. Here's Johnny. <laughs> As they say, Kitty, fortune favours the brave, and I am feeling fortunate. Four in the hole! No, Kitty, no! Get the bird. Meow. Nuts. I didn't want it to come to this, but that bird has left me with no choice. Heavy metal? Not scary enough, punk. Too relaxing. Aha! Polka! Perfect. Not loud enough for you, mate. We'll listen to this. It about. It's time for the big guns. <laughs> Nothing can withstand a wall of sound. Some things are just not meant to be. <laughs> For me? Thank you, not so little bird. I had you all wrong. Say, Kitty, let's try them together, yeah? One, two, three. Um, <laughs> oh, that—that that is the worst thing I've ever tasted, and I eat out of the garbage. Oh well, worth a try, eh? Come on, Kitty. There's a rare breed of Brussels sprout I was thinking of planting. Now we'll need to prep the soil first. And... Not you again. Well, Kitty, that sure was a rough day, but at least we learned something. Yeah? We learned why the goobery is so rare. They taste absolutely terrible. 
Sometimes we work really hard for something we think we want, only to find out that we don't really want it at all. And Mr. Clean learned that the thing he wanted actually tasted like, well, let's just say he prefers blueberries.